All right, as the Ukraine war gets to almost a year now, Russia is evidently trying to destabilize other nations in the region. In Belgrade, Serbia earlier this week, pro-Russian protesters and hardline Serbian nationalists staged protests across the capital. The protesters opposing Serbia's president's efforts to normalize ties with Muslim-majority Kosovo, their neighbor. Tensions between Serbia and Kosovo date back to the war in the 1990s. You remember that when Bill Clinton was in office. The Serbian government now believes those protests were orchestrated by Russia, with one Serbian official telling Newsmax that Russia is actively trying to destabilize the government of Alexander Vucic. It's on the screen here. The Trump-like populist leading Serbia who was just re-elected in that country. Serbia's ambassador to the U.S., Marko Juric, joins us now. And, sir, it's good to have you on. Um, you had five people arrested in Serbia yesterday for allegedly plotting to overthrow your president. Some of them have links to Russia. Uh, the Russians say they have, uh, they're denying all, all responsibility for this. What's your response to what's happening in your country? Well, first of all, greetings to our viewers from the Serbian embassy in Washington, D.C., and Serbia is a peace-loving nation that uh, a couple of days ago marked 142nd anniversary of its ties with the United States. And we have a, a many things going on in our country. We've had the biggest growth rate economically in Europe last year after Ireland. And we are really rising uh, like a phoenix from the ashes from the aftermath of the breakup of former Yugoslavia as a, an economic powerhouse. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, some people have tried to exploit the tragedy uh, in Ukraine and the invasion of Ukraine to undermine stability in our region. Uh, some of them have been uh, part of the institutions in Pristina who have tried to build six illegal bases in the north of Kosovo last year. But we've also seen in Belgrade in past days uh, violent protests. Uh, organized by individuals, some of whom have seen, uh, uh, some of whom were seen uh, touring one of the is, is, Wagner Group main buildings. Right. Is, is, there, is there a reason why, I, I guess I'm trying to figure out what a reason why Russia would want to destabilize your country. I, I believe you guys get most of your energy from Russia. Is that correct? Well, Serbia is actively trying to diversify its energy sources. It's actively trying to diversify its uh, defense and other ways of cooperation. It's seeking closer ties uh, with the EU and the US, of course, keeping its traditional friendship and partnership. But we've also stated very clearly how we feel about the, the invasion of Ukraine. We've said clearly that we uh, condemn this and that we uh, stick to the principle of uh, retaining territorial integrity and sovereignty of all nations, wow. both in the okay. case of Ukraine, but also when it comes to Serbia and Kosovo. I mean, uh, after all, uh, we've ourselves been a uh, victim of an attempt to uh, partition our country 15 years ago. So why would we support partition of any other country? So Russia and Vladimir Putin are trying to destabilize nations that maybe don't support what they're doing in Ukraine. That's very interesting. Uh, Ambassador, thank you so much uh, for coming on. We do appreciate it. Thank you for the time. Thank you for the opportunity.